Thanks Craig and Julian, and hi everyone. My name's AJ Russell, I'm a Technical Service and Training Manager for Asia Pacific for the Blast One region. Today I'm joined by Sarah Madhavami, who's the Technical Representative for GMA Ghana. Thanks for joining me to, today, Sarah, to conduct and explain testing in line with the nominated standards and product data sheets for soluble contaminants in abrasives and on surfaces, which, Sarah, at times can be quite confusing. Yes, it can be. Hi, AJ. Thanks for having me. This is a great way to follow up on the discussion that Julian and Craig had earlier. I think a great way would be to conduct a non-metallic abrasive test as according to ISO 11127-6. Our GMA Certificate of Conformance has a limit of 25 milli siemens per meter for our GMA Premium Plus product. So let's go ahead and do the test. Fantastic. Thanks, Sarah. And we have all the equipment here. Let's yes. do it. We're about to conduct an abrasive conductivity measurement as per ISO 11127-6. It's a really good idea, Sarah, to make sure that you have a copy of the standard here to follow it as per the standard. So here, as per the standard, we have a conductivity measurement. We're using the Positector SST. We have a set of scales that can measure to 0.1 of a gram. And we have a 250 mil flask for measuring the product. We also have a measuring jug to measure 100 mil of the deionized water. Perfect. So what it states in here is to pour the 100 mil into 100 grams of abrasive. So we're gonna pour that in now. So once we've poured that in and we put the top on here and it says we have to shake vigorously for five minutes. Once we've shaken this for five minutes, we have to let it sit for one hour. Obviously for the purpose of this video, you can see how murky it is, we don't have the time. So we're gonna put that aside. And here's one that we prepared earlier. This has been sitting for one hour. We shook it again for five minutes and let it sit for another hour. Now we're gonna take a sample of this product using a syringe. I'm gonna take some of this product out. And as per the standard, <clears throat> it says to inject enough of the solution into the probe to get a reading. And this is just to wait a little while until it stabilizes and settles. So as we can see now, Sarah, that's settled, and we have a reading of 98 microsiemens a centimetre. Really important now, what I have to do, as per the standard, we need to take the mean average of two. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean the solution out. Really important now, that we use some of the clean water to inject back into the cell and clean it out until we get a reading of around five microsiemens as a maximum as per this water. So we've done that now. I've now got a reading of just coming up to four. So that meets the standard of test water. I'm now gonna dispose of that clean water solution. I'm gonna grab a syringe again and take another sample of the water as per the standard be very careful not to inject it into the abrasive. I'm then gonna fill the test section here until it's full, till we get a reading. This takes a few seconds to get the reading. It looks like the second reading we've got here now is 102 microsiemens a centimeter. I can now discard that. We have our two readings as per the standard. Now to take a mean average of those two readings, it gives us 200 divided by two. Great, that gives us an average reading of 100 microsiemens a centimetre. Sarah, is that in line with your certificate of conformancy for GMA abrasives? Well, the reading was 100 microsiemens per centimetre. Now, if you were to divide that by 10, you will get 10 millisiemens per metre, right? Uh, that is in line with our certificate of conformance, which has a limit of 25 millisiemens per metre. Fantastic. Look, thanks for explaining that, Sarah. Th that can be quite confusing at times. Yes, I understand that. Now, AJ, now that we have conducted the abrasive test of the contaminants, let's go ahead and do the conductivity test on the surface. Fantastic. Let's get the equipment ready and go for it. Thank you. So now we will use ISO 8502-6 for method of extraction, followed by ISO 8502-9 for method of measurement. We also have the instruction here that comes with the conductivity meter, which is the SST probe along with the Positector patch, which is in line with the Breslay method. So now that we have the, all the equipment, we're gonna head up here to the piece of steel we have pre-blasted and carry out the testing.
Okay, so hi everyone. Here we are. We now have the measured three milliliters of water that I'm gonna inject into the Positector patch. We're gonna inject that three mil of water. Now the good thing is to inject half, remove any excess air, inject the remaining amount of water. We fill the patch totally, and as you can see, there's no air. We have to gently massage this patch. We need to do this for approximately 10 minutes, gently massaging it to make sure that we get all of the contaminants so we get a true reading from the surface. We also need to extract this solution out of the patch a minimum of four times as per the standard. As you can see, there's one. I'll inject it the second time now and gently massage this. As we need to do this for 10 minutes, we'll see you all in 10 minutes. Welcome back everyone. That's been now been 10 minutes. And as you can see, for the purpose of this video, I've already pre-calibrated as um, distilled water, and we have a reading of five microsiemens a centimeter, as per step one of the instruction manual with the Positector SST. I'm now going to extract the three milliliters of water, and I'm going to inject this into the reading unit here, the Pro. Once I get that there, I need to press plus button again, as per the instructions, and this will start to give us a reading. Once that's stabilized for up to five seconds, I'm gonna press the plus button again, and that will hold us that result, and we'll be able to get a true reading. So, that looks like it's been stabilized now for about five seconds. I'm gonna press that plus button again, and this is gonna give us a reading. Um, Sarah, how's that reading looking? The uh, reading is showing as 28 microsiemens per cm, and that is the determination of total water-soluble salts. Hey Sarah, I understand we've got a reading here of 28 microsiemens a centimetre squared for total soluble salts. Now I understand that um, Craig and Julian were discussing this earlier, and it's, this is total soluble salts. What test would I have to now do to confirm total chloride salts only? That's a good question, AJ, and as we know, and you mentioned the conductivity test that we just did is for total salts. Now, if you want to do a chloride specific test, it's best that we do a sleeve test as per ISO 8502 50. That's great. I think um, what we'll do is we'll get all the equipment ready and we'll get right into that test. Let's do it. Welcome back, everyone. We're now here to conduct a sleeve test as per the standard 8502 15. We've got a kit here. We have the sleeves. We have the iron specific chloride test tubes with a measured amount of solvent. This all comes in the kit you can buy together. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab the sleeve test. So if I can get you to pour that measured amount of solvent into the sleeve. Really important that you get all of that solution in there. Just gonna remove the rest of this um, adhesive tape. Can be quite challenging sometimes. Looks like I've got it all. So what I'm going to do now, it's really important that we twist this to get rid of any expelled air. The least amount of air, the better. I'm going to twist it this type of way, and I'm now going to put this on the surface of the steel, making sure not to lose any of that solution. We keep this here. Now I can undo that. I can tip this up, and I can start massaging that measured amount of solution onto the surface. Now, so as for the loose solution there, it says we have to do this for an agreed amount of time. For the purpose of this test, myself and Sarah have already agreed, we're gonna wait two minutes before we take the reading. So um, we'll see you back in two minutes, everyone. See you there. Hi everyone and welcome back. Two minutes has now elapsed. What we have to do now is to remove the sleeve from the surface. So I'm gonna do that carefully here with this. We wanna make sure that we don't lose any of the solution from the test sleeve. As you can see, it's all in that sleeve. We're gonna be carefully place this into the test kit box, has a hole in the top for taking this measurement. I'm gonna grab one of these tubes. This is a chloride ion specific tube. It comes with a special little tool with a hole in the top, snap in the top, and the bottom edge for the wicking process. I'm gonna do that in the box, away from everybody's eyes. Now I have to make sure that I place this into the solution it comes with this little wicking sock. We place this on the top of the chloride iron tube. 
and we can use this to suck up the solution. This is going to come all the way to the top until we see the white part at the top of this tube go yellow. It's really important that we make sure we get that into the solution to wick this up. You can probably gradually see that's coming up yellow now. I'm able to now remove that and I can show Sarah this result. She'll be able to read it. Read it. And the result shows as 3 parts per million or 3 ppm. Fantastic. So we'll take a close shot photo of this for you so you can see that result. Thanks Sarah for explaining that specific chloride ion test on a blasted surface. And thanks everyone for joining us here today. Um, we've done a conductivity test on um, non-metallic abrasive. We've also done a conductivity measurement of blasted surfaces. And we've also done a chloride ion specific test on a blasted surface. Yes, that's correct. And I explained by Craig and Julian previously, we have now conducted and explained how to do a specific corrosion salt testing. And thanks everyone for joining us here today. I hope you really got something out of these insights. And by myself, AJ Russell from Blast One and Sarah Madhavami from GMA Garnet, more than happy to take any questions or if you need anything in the future, reach out to us. Thank you. Thank Bye. You.